Hello YouTube. This is another video on the candle heater that became quite popular a few years ago. After messing around with them in different variations and things, uh, it got to where it was satisfactory results. Now, let's say what it is and what it isn't. If it's cold, it's freezing, you have one of these, you will freeze to death. That's it. Period. Now, will it augment heating a room? Yes, it will. The room it's in right now is uh, 12 by 15. Uh, by using the thermostat set at 65 degrees, it will help maintain the room at 70, 71. We've tried the same room, same temperatures, same situation, with and without the candles, and it will raise the room temperature overall between 2 and 3 degrees and stops the cyclic rate of the heater coming off and on. So that's a plus. What I did and what I didn't do are several different things. I will go into a video later on how I actually did what we did. This is just an overview. There's two clay pots in it. The very bottom is a 10 inch terracotta saucer. The three legs that hold the upper terracotta pot in place are actually terracotta pot holders for your patio. Inside that is a glazed terracotta saucer that actually holds the candles. Inside the terracotta pots, which are nested, instead of going through the washer rigmarole, uh, there's actually a 16 gauge stripped copper coil. Basically took 16 gauge electrical wire, wrapped it around a coil form to make a coil and hooked it up with the spacers and the bolts that go through the two terracotta pots to act as a heat transfer. What does this do? Well, it heats up the entire unit quicker. Whereas most people are going with a high mass content, large bolts, large washers, etc, etc. It takes longer to bring them up to operating temperature. Uh, and I didn't find any real improvement on radiated heat. That's all it is, is a radiated heater. The candles heat up the terracotta, the terracotta radiates the heat. That's it. What I did do is on the very top you'll see a black metal bar that uh, is just a piece of aluminum that's screwed into it. And attached to that is an old computer CPU fan. The CPU fan is driven by one of your basic uh, power cubes, pretty much like that if I can get it in focus, but that's it. It's just a, an old power cube that runs around three or four volts. It runs the speed of the fan ideally. If you run the fan too fast or have a bigger fan, it'll pull in the cool air and all you'll get is cool air in, cool air out. I do have another one, which I'll probably show later, that I put a variable rheostat on so you can vary the speed using a conventional computer box fan. And you want to vary the speed down so that you can feel the warm air blowing from it. So, the copper coil inside transfers the heat to the metal bolt. The heat goes up the bolt. It's transferred to the aluminum bar that the fan's attached to, and the fan cooling fins take the conducted heat, the fan blows across it, you get a little air circulation. It doesn't improve the heating quality, it just moves the air around a little bit more. That's all it does. So it's a pretty simple thing. It does, I found that using four candles seem to be better than three, of course, at a little over 300 watts per candle. Uh, you are I think it's 300 watts. You can look it up. There's a lot of videos on it. But anyway, four candles work fine. You get more candles than that. The flash point gets really high. Uh, you can actually boil the wax out of the candles and have a flash fire. So, by being in a large 10-inch pot, in a much smaller 4-inch pot saucer, uh, it works better. That seemed to be pretty much optimum and not a waste of candles or a waste of your time. But anyway, this is just one of our versions. Hey, I can shine the, uh, uh, it'll show the surface temperature of it. 
as you can see it's running right around the surface temperature not the room temperature but the surface temperature is running around 178 to 100 well about 183 degrees moving it up it's 133 degrees the bar runs 120 middle of the fan around 88 degrees so you've got a, a slight breeze at 88 degrees yeah that helps uh, are these terribly efficient Eh, that's a matter of opinion does it work yes but don't set your goals or your aspirations too high for what they are because they are what they are. You know, they're fun to tinker with. Be safe. Use some common sense. And uh, have, a, have a good one. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll get back with you later. Bye-bye.